As a Portuguese adage goes, what doesn't belong to the government belongs to Espírito Santo, the Holy Ghost in English. But it actually refers to a consortium of the same name. It includes the Banco Espírito Santo, Portugal's largest private bank. It's been in the headlines because its parent company is insolvent. Is the bank also facing ruin? The Espírito Santo group is a widely branched family clan. Five family members at the top form the international holding company that announced its insolvency. 20% of its capital is in the bank. Through its subsidiary Rio Forte, the family also holds shares in energy utilities, real estate, hotels, hospitals and foodstuff companies. The consortium is involved in more than 400 companies around the world. In Portugal, the dynasty's financial problems are a cause for concern since the banks, with their high-risk loans, were one of the triggers of the financial crisis. Now too, it seems that shady dealings are behind the consortium's bankruptcy. There were some you know, misleading uh, numbers uh, actually, uh, they were leading for understatement of debt on the balance sheet, around of 1.2 billion euros. And after this news came out, you had also uh, the story of the Angola, um, of the Angola uh, activity, which Bash sort of lost track to 5.6 billion in, in credit concession. The news of Espirito Santo's financial difficulties sparked fear and alarm at the stock exchange in Lisbon and on the other European stock markets. Within just one month, the bank's stocks lost more than 60% of their value. But the financial institution still has sufficient reserve assets. We know that they also have um, an excess liquidity of, or a capital buffer of around 2.1 billion. So and that, I think that, that amount of money should be enough to contain the worst, uh, not the worst, but at least the, the current risks we know. Now Goldman Sachs has invested in Banco Espirito Santo. And the Portuguese are now also getting advice on financial matters from Deutsche Bank. <laughs>